first round that sort of thing. You see, I sang there and then, he was going up along, and then he tried to fly, and I thought he was going to use and I didn't realise, I thought maybe his wings, then his wings were looking okay. Yeah, but it's round the wing, and now... I look out my window, I see the seagulls, and there, I'm always looking at it. That's cool. Give a day from an apple tree. <laughs> Take a knife. Up. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna go now. Yeah, you came up here, but you came out, you're gonna get across to him, that's fine. No, it's only there, Ray, it's not difficult. <laughs> Look, oh, he's there know, already. Okay. Look, he's there. <laughs> He's got to have something to pick up that boy, hasn't he? He needs a pair of wire cutters, really, doesn't he? He must have something. Yeah, he's got a bit over it. Oh, that's good. Could have laid. He'll never have the energy left anyway, will he? Seagulls bite, though. You'd be surprised. <laughs> they bite and twist. It'd be surprisingly painful. There you go, he's got some wire cutters out. Will bite him, I tell you, they. Oh, yeah. Never mind, he's got gloves on. Yeah. Very well done, he's got him away. He's got to put him in the bag now. Yeah, he's got a pillowcase up there to wrap him in. Doesn't the word, there's nobody around either. Squeeze him. Ah, good lad. Do they bring that bird back and let it loose here again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we will generally release it where we've, we tend to release everything where we get it from, uh, as long as that's possible. Place, yeah, we'll, uh, we've got the carrier over there. We're taking him back to the rescue centre, which is near Uckfield. How far is that? It's over near um, Uckfield. It's, in, it's actually in a small place called Whitesmith. Thank God for that, man. You do a good job. Yeah, it's all uh, charity based as well. Yeah, I know. Another one. Yeah. in shock, quite a degree of shock, so yeah. let's just get him into the van and we'll give him some treatment here and now I think. 